Yeah, Supi was great for us. I mean, he made some huge saves. Um, I mean, you just see him in there. He's having so much fun. He, uh, he just loves to compete and loves to battle uh, for the guys. And um, I mean, he came up with some big saves and, uh, you know, obviously uh, a big two points for us to pull out. I just tried to kind of wait him out and then uh, saw a bit of an opening and just try to sneak it in there. So, um, yeah, that's about it. What did you like? Yeah, what did you like about the performance tonight? Tough team to break down and you guys got out early. What did you, what did you like about tonight? I think that's what was important is uh, trying to get out to a lead quick and, uh, you know, just try to build off that. Obviously, um, you know, some, uh, some stuff. We didn't feel that, uh, you know, went our way uh, the whole game, but I think we just stuck with it even when they uh, made a push. Uh, you know, we, we uh, you know, played back in their end, had some chances, couldn't capitalize on them, but uh, I thought we uh, kind of swayed the momentum back on our side when, uh, when we needed to, and obviously Supi made some really good saves. I would have loved to have kept uh, that Scandella shot out in Montreal, so we would have had six out of six, but, uh, you know, I think the boys have played really well, and we've gotten some big points, and, um, you know, Freddie coming back, it just gives us a lot of momentum, and, uh, you know, we, we got a pretty busy schedule here, so I know we just got to hit the reset button tomorrow and be ready to go. How do you go about establishing a relationship with the other goalie? Because you guys both want the job and have to support each other. How do you go about doing that? I mean, at the end of the day, it's just, you know, I think each team, whether it's Toronto or anywhere around the NHL, you want good people. And, you you know, part of competition is, uh, you know, giving it your all and wanting to be the number one guy, but also having a lot of respect for the other guy. And I know firsthand uh, Frederick Anderson's a heck of a – person but he's an amazing goalie so I'm just excited for the opportunity to watch him and learn from him and hopefully we can help each other out. What did you think of the atmosphere in the building tonight and the amount of Leafs people in Wow that was pretty cool you know taking a lap and warm ups and uh, and seeing all the blue and white it was it was really cool I was smiling so it was awesome. Uh, I just saw traffic in front and just wristed one in there and it found its way through so it's nice to get one it's been a while. You guys are on the road so it's been I don't know, maybe that kind of uh, that workman mentality coming in here, getting two points and getting out type uh, type feel to the game and, and to our team. Um, we did a lot of good things tonight, um, and we'll look to build on it, uh, continue going forward. Among the good things, scoring first really helps, right? Yeah. Um, you know, we always want to come out and have a good start, um, especially in uh, in um, away buildings. Um, so tonight we were able to, to get on board and, and get going. William was one of the guys who made the screen on your shot. Yeah, yeah, he's sneaky. Um, he kind of finds his way, a back door and in front, um, kind of just slides in there at the right time. Um, he's got a knack for scoring um, and being in the right place, and, and he was there, I guess. In part. Uh, yeah, I would say in part. I mean, Supi, uh, Supi played a good game for us today. I, I thought our team played a good hockey game. Uh, you know, I thought we had a really good second period. You know, they pulled the goaltender, changed his momentum a little bit, and like how we responded for that. Uh, final segment of the second period, but you know, liked a lot about our third period. I think we, you know, three or four of our best chances of the game come in the third period. There, we could have really blown the game open. We, uh, our goalie made a bunch of saves and let them hang around, and so it made it interesting. But uh, luckily, uh, we got the, the bounce to go our way on the empty net, which I think we earned that bounce through our play in the third. You touched on it this morning, but what were your emotions personally being in this building as an NHL coach? Well, it was. <laughs> It was special for me, uh, nothing to do with the game or anything like that, but just a chance to see many of the people that uh, were important in supporting me and, and my family uh, through our time in Pembroke and the operation of Lumber King. So to have them in the building and a chance to thank them each, you know, in person uh, was important to me. It's something, you know, anytime when I would think about a chance for me to coach in the NHL, I right away would think of how can I thank those people and uh, can never say or do anything to really repay them for everything that they sacrificed to, to uh, give me a start and a foundation to be able to coach at that level. Um, but to have them in the building uh, uh, was special, and I was happy that it worked out tonight. Jake might have been saying that he really feels like he has a good feel for the team and all into it to attract the rest and all into positively reinforce things. How do you think you've evolved since day one as a head coach back in November to, to now? I think, you know, I've, I've grown as I've learned, you know, about the league and the schedule and just how quickly you have to reset for the next day and also just how important, you know, framing each 
win or loss or adversity for the team because you've got to manage the emotions uh, because you don't have time uh, to let things um, let things fester. You've got to deal with things. So that, that would be the biggest thing That's the, and the biggest adjustment coming from the American League is just how quickly the games do come at you um, and they're kind of relentless, especially in this month. So that would really be it.